Um, just because you've interacted with us, is it okay to take your collar number? I'm not willing to talk to you, man. I'm just making sure I get a copy of your information. And are you aware of the body worn okay. video procedures that you have to comply with? You do have to tell the member of the public that you are filming, and you didn't. You also failed to identify. So here we are guys at Mansfield House Police Station in Leicester. 74 Mansfield House, look. So this is the, the main police station right in the city centre. On Google, there are no opening hours. So we need to take a closer look inside. There's no, no opening hours on Google, so that certainly needs correcting. So let's go take a closer look inside. There's some reserve parking in the main, main front car park. And they have quite a few visitor spaces, to be honest. A few visitor spaces, some disabled, disabled visitors and disabled employees. So I do hope, do hope that this person in this car is disabled. I'm not sure whether they are or not. But there are some uh, notice boards over there. Are you okay? You okay, yeah? Don't worry. As soon as <laughs> no, you okay, yeah? Because I see you papped us. I don't know if you wanted anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Are you, are you a police member of staff? No, okay, okay. So it's good to see how they've got the, the disabled access to the main gate. Let's take a walk up it. Put ourselves in the shoes of the, uh, the disabled. That, these things are really important to disabled people getting access to the police stations especially when they're built on sort of like an incline like this one is so on the main main notice board outside we've got this Monday to Friday 10 till 4 only and that's probably only relevant to vehicle seizure notices the documents that are required would visitors please report to reception ah this is the most important part that we want to see monday to friday eight till eight that's quite late isn't it so we can certainly add that on saturday 10 till eight sunday 10 till four but they only deal with vehicle seizures monday to friday 10 till four which mirrors the information on this notice board it's a shame they've not used this notice board for community um purposes but it's more of just uh, a police notice board on this one and they've got the nice uh, energy saving led bulb in the uh, traditional lantern there that's quite good to see and because they're in a city center you'll notice uh, all these spikes anything they've got high all the spikes across the top to stop the pigeons from making a mess So we'll just go have a quick check inside if the door wants to open again, which I don't think it does. <laughs> it opened a minute ago, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice like the nets to stop the birds from going into the, the crevices of the building. I noticed some, um, some railings here on the perimeter where the public footpath is. This is some sort of emergency exit. But lets you have a little peek inside the yard where all the cars are. Every single vehicle that you can see from this point is reversed into the space apart from that one over there. 
which probably isn't part. Reversing into the the spaces is certainly much safer than driving in forwards like this gentleman's done down there on a uh, a yellow box one of them um, hashed boxes you see that yeah so far so good so having a quick look inside through the dirty windows these windows are very dirty aren't they these windows have certainly not been cleaned for a while. You've got uh, days and days worth of dirt. And I think it might even be on the inside. Yeah, I just don't want to get the member of the public in, so I'll wait till he's gone and then I'll, we'll talk. Is that okay? That's reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're still dealing with him? You're still dealing with that member of the public? Oh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, when you go onto Google, and you you see Mansfield House Police Station, it's listed there. Mm -hmm. When the member of the public clicks on it, um, they've got some vital information. And on this particular one, the hours, the opening hours are not listed, right? Okay. So normally, I mean, uh, we've been to quite a few police mm -hmm. stations in Leicester and this is what we do. The opening hours are on there. Yeah. It's a very, a lot of it's people just use- It's recently been changed. And you notice we've got a sign up on the front. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're here to- well, What we'll have to do is inform our digital media people to say that the times are not gone onto your system yeah. and get that corrected, okay. Yeah, now- They have been informed. It may be that it made a glitch in our system and we haven't done it properly, yeah? Okay. So we'll just get that done, all right. So that, that's one thing while we're here. Also, why, is, why have, has the doors been closed? I've had to lock it because we were a family in there and we're not sure if they've had COVID, so I'm just going to go. Right, okay, 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 okay. To make sure, I can't, I don't want to get you and find it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then we sat down as well, that's one. When the member, I'll point the camera over there, sir. Yeah. When the member of public are allowed in there, obviously we don't want us to go in there, yeah. that's understood. We won't go in there today yeah. because of those reasons. But is there hand sanitizer available to the, the public? Thing, if you look at, unfortunately, you can't see through that door, okay? But if you, because it's the way you do. If you look, just look on there, can you see it? Oh, yeah, brilliant, the, the brilliant. And everything. Now, when you enter, yeah. it, it, is it one-way system? It is at the moment. Okay, okay, okay. So there is arms on the floor, etc. Okay, now, is, is there face masks as well? Yes. Brilliant, brilliant. Is there an open toilet to the public? Pop toilets are open up by us through the door, yeah, and they're regularly clean. So the toilets, you have to ask for the key? No, we, they are, because it's electronic and done Okay, okay. Perfect. Okay, we're going to come back at a different day when we can get access, but thank you very much for your help. You're are you a civilian, are you? I am. Thank you very much. Right. So down on the floor, I mean, this, this building is very, very new, and that gentleman was very, very yeah, helpful. But down on the floor, we've noticed where the, the rust is on the steps down there. Now, at the minute, the banister is not wobbly, but that will not last very long. This is... Um, the paint there protects the metal from rust but down at the bottom you can clearly see how the rust has taken effect and it won't be long until that starts getting very weak and a member of the public then is it's happened on all three of the points it's happened there and it's happened there so it won't be long until a member of the public just casually comes up these uh, steps relies on this banister and it gives way so that's definitely cause cause for concern this one here it's actually come away from the floor so you've got three bolts that are so rusty so rusty that it's no longer fixed to the floor so as a member of the public uses this and they put too much uh, reliance on the the banister that is not not good at all what it should look like is down here how it's firmly fixed to the floor now one's still got a bit of a wobble on it Still got a bit of a wobble on it, but it's certainly not as bad as this. You take a shot of it, look, it's disgusting. The health and safety risk that that poses to the public. See that? And this one here, do you know how the, the bottom of, um, do you see the bottom, see the rust on that? They're definitely attention. So for a, a new building, which is um, looking pretty good, to be honest, on the outside, it just gives a few areas of concern. It's good to see how they're trying to keep the pest control in hand down here with these uh, rodent bait traps. Certainly needed in a, a city centre location. And there's a few bits of litter around, but not too much. Con yeah, considering it's uh, location banging the city centre. Right, let's take a look around 
the back the most important back oh actually when it's uh, when it's locked it's good to see that there's a help point where they can press to get assistance and the normal defibrillator really good to see this telephone is connected to the call management center at force headquarters to operate the telephone please keep your finger pressed on the button while speaking so here we are guys we're at the the rear now good timing one of these new fancy black police cars are entering it's quite a big uh, big gate that one it's not a big yard at all it's um, just a little square at the side of the, the building Is it illegal? It is. Oh, I better stop then. I better stop. <laughs> Some people don't know the law, do they? It's all humour, ain't it? It's all humour. It's amazing. It amazes me, don't yeah. it? You notice on the floor where they've got this little um, cutout? Yeah. That's like a sensor. That's so if, sensor. It, if there's any vehicles there. Yeah. The gate will just remain in the open yeah. position until the weight has come off the the ground. All health and safe there. Yeah. Look at this um, hazard to the public down here. Look, broken glass. I hope there's no broken glass that's actually on the road. Oh yeah, there is. You see that there? Look, that is actually a hazard to the police vehicles coming in and out and you've actually got glass here as well see the glass just there that's also a hazard um, just because you've interacted with us is it okay to take your collar number And are you aware of the body worn video procedures that you have to comply with? You do have to tell the member of the public that you are filming and you didn't. You also failed to identify. You will be reported to the IOPC. Uh, before you walk away, would you like a chance to redeem yourself? Because you, you didn't inform the member of the public that you was filming and you didn't identify yourself when you interacted with the member of the public. So on the second attempt, you've also refused my polite request so there you go guys Leicestershire police we thought they were doing quite well until that officer approached us he didn't want to talk to us like uh, human beings he just wanted to get his evidence I just want to get a picture of your face for my purposes well it's it can't be um, used in court because he failed to inform us that he was recording so it could <laughs> He could do whatever he likes, but, you know, it's inadmissible. So I think he's actually inside this vehicle. Gonna get a copyright strike for this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking so that the music behind us doesn't give us a copyright strike. So we're, we're firmly... Um, away from the the entrance here we're not obstructing any vehicles at all as they depart from the mansfield police station this one is called flash named by hazel community primary school to uh, get some images of the people we're auditing yeah, DJ audits. D DJ audits. Yeah, DJ. No, we're alright. We don't need any help. Just gave some photos and some videos. There is um, just some glass down here that we're concerned about. Oh yeah. 
piece of glass down there. Obviously, a, a bottle's been broken down there. Yeah. And the glass has made its way over here. Yeah. So if, if there's anything that we've spotted that we could uh, be, yeah. be assistance with. Uh, have you noticed at the front, at the front of the building, where the, the public go up the steps? Yeah. Have you tried to use the banister? No, to be fair, I'm no. out the front a little bit. Why, is it, is it not good? It's not good. That definitely yeah. needs attention. Okay. Where it's fixed to the ground, yeah. it's not fixed to the ground anymore. And the other banisters are so rusty, they won't be long until they do the same. Okay, well, what I'll do is, I was aware of that, but I'll make sure that it's raised with our estate. This yeah. bit, I'll be able to keep you. Oh, okay. Um, but this bit out here, to be fair, well, I wasn't aware of that bit either, but I'll get the street cleanliness to come and sort this bit out. Are you? Well, thanks for letting us know about that. Are you also aware, when member of public, they use Google Maps and they press on Mansfield House Police Station, yeah. when they go and have a look at your opening hours, there's nothing, nothing on there. Oh, right. So a member of the public that might want to think this is a uh, just police only or non-operation, non-public accessible building. Yeah. It'd be nice if uh, you could yeah. add the hours on there so that yeah. people could actually... Well, I'll, I'll raise that back to my supervisor. I mean, I, know, I think they're on the front of the station anyway. Uh, they are, but, but yeah, but yeah people have them on the internet as well. I know what you mean. Pe people yeah. go on and they say, where is the nearest police station? Yeah. And if there's no opening hours... It won't come up with it. It's yeah. just assumed yeah. it's something like Tigers Road. Yeah. You know? Um, Tigers Road is, is not accessible to the public, is it? Uh, Tigers Road, the... No, I don't think so. Yeah, so they might think it's something like that yeah. if there's no opening hours listed. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Well, how, how long... Up with them. Do you know any history of this building? I don't, I'm afraid. I've not been based here too long. I've only been here about two years now, but I've right. not actually... I've, I, to be fair, I don't spend much time actually in the building. Right. I'm normally out and about, right. just to be far around the city. So I I've never thought to ask any questions about right. it, okay. but... I'm sure I can open blue can find out. No, 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 because yeah. we're... I think, we're I think, yeah. I'm not sure how it works, like if it's owned or leased or anything like that, yeah. or yeah. if we buy it off the council, if it's council owned, I've got no idea, unfortunately. Would you know, um, do you occupy all floors or just this ground one? Uh, I think the, this building is, is just literally police, this entire building. So all floors? Yeah. Right. There's a lot of departments here. Wow, it's massive then, isn't it? And uh, is that is that on? No. Right. Okay. No, do you want me to have it on? No, 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 no. Um, no, no. We had an interaction just uh, a moment ago where somebody approached us with it on. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're you're aware that you're supposed to tell us before it, you put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously, you meant to in public, yeah. this gentleman didn't, and also we asked him for his shoulder number, and he just walked off. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> we're here, we're here to have a look around, and if it's if it's dirty like. Um, yeah like Euston Street was the other day, and all the bins are overflowing, yeah. and there's custody, custody workwear littered all over the, the outside. We're not gonna be happy. This, this yeah. place has got a dangerous barrier, and it's got glass where your vehicles are coming in and out. Yeah. If, I, if I wanted your response, I wouldn't want you to be delayed because there's yeah, glass there. Yeah, it's called cool. glass. And, and if yeah. I wanted this, the service of this police station, I wouldn't yeah. want to be injured on the way up using yeah. the banister that's broke. And if I wanted to find out if this police station was actually open to the public, I wouldn't want to see no opening hours. So yeah. there's a few things that hopefully we can help you get better yeah, at. Yeah. And one of the other things that we don't like is when people start filming us on the body worn yeah. about telling us, show this footage now to professional standards, because the gentleman there thinks he can treat someone who's trying to do some good yeah. like that. And when I just want to know who it was, what's yeah. your shoulder number, yeah. he walked away. Yeah. So. I mean, that's I thought, a shame. I know it's not you, but that, no, no, was, no. To be fair, I thought you'd pick up on the other one that, uh, that the council did. They, they clearly, they put the uh, they made me laugh. They keep clears the wrong way for the wrong way road. <laughs> it's only just been redone. Oh right, right. right. They've, yeah, they've got the old. Uh, yeah, that one made me laugh. Yeah, first, so. yeah. I do think we're delaying your colleague now, actually. So I'm going to step yes, out of the way. To be fair, it's because we we do we. I've got nothing crazy urgent, but we do have to get off to another appointment. No, yeah, I've yeah. got to come out and stand chat with you guys. Yeah, anyway. just for the record, is it 4641 Dave Manning, yeah. based yeah. here now? Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. No, that's all right. Thank no, you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we're about right. done now anyway, Dave, so um, we're going to head off. No, that's right. And the points you've given me as well, I'll take forward as well. Please. I'll, I'll let them know that. Yeah, um, we, do, we do send it in as well. But yeah, if you could... Yeah, if you. Right. That's it, because we can, our control room can get hold of what's called street cleansing anyway, because they come out and normally clean the streets. But I'll let them know about that. Get them yeah, them yeah. Sorted. It's obviously started there and it's drifted over. Yeah, so I'm not sure. They might have 
might tell me I've got to come out with a brush and do it. I'll work out whose boundary it is because there's all that legal boundary. Yeah. Well, so I'll work that out. At, at Euston it. Street, if you ever go onto YouTube and find this video, you'll see the other the Euston Street one that we did le um, last week. I went round picking all the litter up. Bits, yeah. Tried to put it in the bin, but the yeah. bin was already overflowing. Do you go yeah. to Euston Street? Only like if. if because that's one of our crusty suites. Yeah, okay. well, as you enter, yeah, yeah. you know, at the main gate where the bins Which are there, yeah. <laughs> it was a right mess. But yeah, you've got, uh, you've actually got pest control traps, which is brilliant. Yeah. 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 Right. Anyway, Dave, no, go on. Fine. Your colleague's waiting. Hey, that's all right. Mate. Thank, well, thanks for your. Watch your YouTube. <laughs> uh, DJ audits. DJ audits. Like an audit auditor DJ. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. No, but nice meeting yeah. you guys. Take care, Dave. Yeah, Thank you. So that's it guys from Mansfield House Police Station. We voiced our concerns there to Dave, the constable. It was very polite, very engaging. Very it's a shame the, the constable before was the way he was. I'm not willing to talk to you, man. I'm just making sure I get a copy of your But that's just the way it is. So for now guys, stay safe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.